Today is an exciting day. This came in the mail. All right. So what is this, you might ask? This is the cure-all to my callus and pain in my finger from this. This is the Logitech MX Master 2S. A little context, basically been using this thing for, well, ever since I had an iMac. Now I have done video editing, website design, website development, illustrations, photos, every, whatever, you know, you get the point. On this guy. Now this, if you can see that, is glass on the top. What it has done is created a callus and much pain, excuse me, pain in my finger. So I'm switching over to this. Hopefully that will, you know, solve some issues, solve some pain. So maybe soon I'll let you know how this works and if the pain subsides. But today we want to discuss label design. For a while now we've been working with Grist House and they just got a canning line and they, we've been pumping out labels for the past month for up and coming beers. So basically we would like to show you how that workflow goes and how those labels come to life. But first things first, cue the intro. So normally what happens is we get an email from Brian and Kyle at Grist House letting us know that they're gonna start canning a new beer and they need a label. So we start with the name of the beer and kind of toss around ideas as to what the label you know, should and may look like. And then we'll take that idea and put it to life. So we're gonna show you the process with early warning. For early warning, once we came up with the name, Kyle sent over an image of some, you know, red hazard lights that he thought would be a good representation on the label. So he sent me a photo, I'm assuming that he got from Google, um, which is this right here. And what I did is I took that image and dropped it into Illustrator. Now once we put that on there, lock that, then I went to the Wacom tablet. And what it does, it allows me to draw directly onto the screen. You can use it in Illustrator, I use it in Photoshop all the time. First what we'll do is drag Illustrator onto the tablet screen, resize it. And then what we'll do is begin to illustrate the image. So you just take the pen and write directly onto the tablet and it begins to create a vector illustration Moving forward, you can add background color and add some highlights and some different aspects to just really make the, the illustration pop and give it sort of a more 3D look. So once we have the image done, the main image and illustration that is gonna be used, then we come in and we're gonna add some elements here and there. So the background's obviously not gonna be white on the can, so what I did is I started out with this little, I don't even know what you would call it, what it is, an explosion, the warning lights, um, a bunch of triangles basically. But started out with a black one and then came in and accented that with, uh, basically copied and pasted the same thing and rotated it just a little bit to get this, to get this red uh, little accent in the background. But then I wanted to also add another element to the background because the white just, you know, just looked plain. So I came in and I added these little dots. Now the little dots, you know, are all coming into the direction of the center of the image. So it just worked out perfectly. Once I was happy with that, then I came in and I added the graphics that go on top to, you know, tell what beer it is, who it is, you know, all the stuff that, um, make the beer label a beer label and not just a, you know, an ordinary graphic. 
So from there, you know, we added the uh, URL here on the side. This is, you know, the edge of the label that's going to be matching up here. So we wanted these, this gap and this gap pretty much to be the same. And then we added the logo, obviously, and added the name of the beer along with the style of the beer. But once that's all done, we came in and I had to put it on a template that will work for the printer. The, the printer sent Kyle over a template, Kyle sent me over the template, and I had to match it on the template. It's got everything basically we need to know, what the safe zone is, how far the bleed comes out, you know, the dye line. But basically we just take this image, everything that we did over here, sans the guidelines, copy that, bring it in here, close that down, lock it, add a new layer and drop it on that new layer. So once we have all the positioning done and everything, we take the rectangle tool, create our background, not blue, but white, and drop it in there. Then I'm gonna copy paste that in place bring it to the front and select all of that and make it a clipping mask so that it fits perfectly in there. Once you have it where you need it, you can hide that and there you go. It's perfectly into the safe zone of the template that was sent. Everything's nice and neat and clean. And then what we do is we save that to a PDF and a JPEG for, well the JPEG is for Brian to send to the government for approval first, but then the PDF is for the printer. So we'll send it off to the printer, and then Brian and Kyle will get a proof back from the printer, take a look at the proof, make sure everything is tip top, and then, you know, give it the okay. And then once we send that off to the printer, get the okay from Uncle Sam, they begin to print it and this is what you have, the final product. This weekend, it was a nice day out. I had grabbed some of these, basically a case down there on, I believe it was Friday. Um, I decided to go outside and, you know, take some B-roll, take some photos of the can, you know, actually just around my house. Um, use my fire pit, uh, use the front yard. Um, some old burnt up wood, you know, just basically give it that industrial feel. So let's take a look at some of that B-roll. So that's it guys, that's basically the watered down version of how we create a label now. Of course, a lot more goes into that. Um, usually I don't get it right on the first time, gotta send it over to them for approval. They kick back some uh, edits, some more thoughts, some ideas, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. But I mean, the end product, you know, speaks for itself. We appreciate you coming by. We appreciate you watching the video. Subscribe if you're not like the video, just you know, show us some love. A lot of hard work we're putting into these. Um, we're hoping that you're enjoying them as much as we are, but until next time, thanks for coming.